Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Imagine Slagharen. Now in the last episode you could me, see me build this, uh, the check wagon. But um, yeah, I had a version of this wheel which was not uh, fully recolorable. And also uh, you could still see some parts of the, you know, of pink. Because some of these uh, colors, uh, yeah, they cover too much, uh, let's call it range. Or they cover some... Uh, colors in a different color range so uh, well yeah, I could try to explain it but it means that when you recolor it some parts will keep the a different color so that's something uh, I will have to fix well um, I actually got a new version of this object from uh, Fruity Max um, I asked him to make uh, this wheel uh, for me which he uh, which he happily did I'm uh, really grateful for that and um, I also got uh, the custom vehicle from uh, from SpaceX to uh, for uh, for this uh, yeah for this wheel. I hope I pronounced this name uh, correctly. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm really grateful to both these guys for the objects they have provided for me. Anyway, um, I think I will first try out this uh, this custom vehicle that uh, that was made for me, just to see uh, how it will look. And after that. I will uh, prepare a new object from the new images that I have gotten. Okay, I'm just taking these cars for a for a spin, but uh, it looks like their uh, their location is actually under the track. So I'm just going to make the track a little bit higher. And then, uh, actually, I'm just going to lower the floor and uh, make the track invisible just to see uh, how they will look. All right, <laughs> I really love uh, the way these uh, cars look. Let me get some uh, pictures of the uh, original. So yeah, um, I think they look a lot like the original. Um, of course, there are no guests uh, in here. Um, probably it will even look uh, cooler with, uh, with those in them. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way these cars look. And uh, they have been calculated uh, exactly so that the 12 of them uh, will fit exactly uh, spaced out correctly in this uh, circle. And uh, they have the white cube uh, in front of them. And that's just uh, to make it easier uh, for the for the shoe stringing. And that this will also ensure that the first car that will be followed will actually be this car and not the not the car that the cube that will be on the control track. It's just a neat uh, trick. Okay, um, what I will do now is that I will modify this uh, track to be a little bit higher, so the cars will be in the correct uh, spot. And after that, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, make the make a shoestring here, so that uh, the cube will be on a control track uh, under the under the ground, and the rest of the cars will be going on this on this uh, circular track here. Alright, it looks like it works uh, perfectly. <laughs> so yeah, I also turned it into a, the ride into a lift or an elevator if you're playing on the US version. 
and that uh, makes sure it's a transport ride and then guests will ride it regardless of its uh, stats and the stats are really low so uh, so that's probably good so um, yeah what I'm going to do now is uh, to make a new custom uh, wheel out of the images that I've been sent I'm going to place it a little bit more to the front so it's really in between here and maybe um, I'm also going to make some extensions here but I'm not uh, not sure about it maybe it will look good enough uh, without them but yeah I'm really happy with the with these uh, custom cars I think they look great on this uh, on this ride <laughs> Okay, I might need to make this object a little bit smaller so it can actually fit here. But first I will just uh, try it like this and see how it actually looks. Maybe it will just, uh, maybe I can get away with doing it like this. Alright, um, yeah, I could try to make the object like this, but as you can see it's not centered here. And this would be the front, would be in, fr in the front of the tile. So if I would rotate this, um, yeah, it would not look good from uh, two angles, I think. So one way to solve this would be by uh, cutting it in half, probably and then making separate objects of two halves. But either way, <laughs> it, will be, uh, it will be quite uh, annoying to, uh, to get this right. Or I could shrink the wheel and see how that looks. But um, yeah, what I think I will be doing for now is simply to turn this into an object just to see if it works. I mean, the end result of this contest will be uh, based on a screenshot that we have to hand in. So. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will have to zoom. see. Maybe I'll turn these into separate objects because um, I think this uh, scale will will still be necessary for the for the ride. So yeah, for now I'll just turn this into an object and uh, just ignore the yeah the the back view. Now one annoying. Uh, thing in this program is that uh, you can set remap colors so what that means is you can uh, set colors that the that you will be able to recolor I just see I messed up so and those colors uh, will be this uh, pink and the green but you can also have objects which are normally green So um, this green object, you would think, okay, I will just set the green remap color, and and then I will be able to recolor it in the game. But yeah, that's not that's not the case. I will actually have to recolor the green to this green remap color. <laughs> and when I directly recolor the green, I won't be able to see um, if I got every part. So what I'm going to do now is um, to remap everything to purple now first and then remap it to the recolorable green.
Okay, it looks like uh, I messed up one of the orientations of the of the wheel. So as we rotate around it now, um, yeah, this is not uh, this is not correct because now this uh, knob here is on the front, and now it's here on the back. So <laughs> I need to uh, swap two of the orientations. But other than that, I think the wheel looks uh, quite good here. I think this uh, this is actually passable. So. Uh, yeah, I do wonder what it looks like with uh, with some structure behind it. So that's what I'm going to try first, and after that I'll uh, re uh, modify the object to uh, yeah to make sure that the knob is always on the on the correct uh, location. Okay, I don't know why, but uh, reloading this uh, this object actually made this space for the image here bigger. So yeah, that's actually going to be really uh, helpful because now I can just move the object to the yeah really to the space in this uh, bounding box where I want it to to be. So here it will be on the on the back edge. Here it will be on the front edge. And here on the back edge and here on the front edge. Alright, that's the wheel structure done and also the vehicles done. So now I can start working on the building that has to go in front and uh, all the surrounding stuff and also the column that uh, supports the ride. But yeah, um, I will keep that for a late, later episode. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, already really happy with the progress uh, I made now and uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, exciting to, uh, to finish the rest, but I'm already really happy with, uh, with this. So yeah, again, um, great. Uh, Thanks to Fruity Max for giving me this uh, wheel, and uh, also uh, thanks to Spacek. Sorry if I butchered your name, um, but yeah, really, uh, really great work on this uh, on this custom ride. It looks uh, fanta and works fantastic. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.